Well, hi everyone, I'm News 8 uh, Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkus right here at WFAA in Dallas, Texas. I want to give you a quick update on what's taking place with Laura. Laura has now moved off of the island of Cuba, clearly out in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. At this point, at this time of the recording, uh, 480 miles southeast of Lake Charles, Louisiana. That's where Laura is right now. Uh, we always look at these sea surface temperatures, also the upper air analysis. The upper air analysis, analysis does not show any wind shear in the forecast for Laura. So as it moves across this bathtub temperature water, if you will, this is just the fuel that it needs to continue to strengthen. 87, uh, 88 degree water, 86 to 88 degree water temperatures out here in the Gulf of Mexico in front of Laura's path. Now, I did have some folks ask me, but Pete, you know, when Marco moved through the Gulf of Mexico, didn't it churn up the waters enough to create some upwelling to take that cool water down uh, in the lower levels and bring it up to the top and kind of cause these temperatures to maybe uh, cool just a tad? That didn't take place. Marco didn't stick around very long and it wasn't a very strong strong storm and the path that, that that Laura is taking is different right now than the path that Marco took. So with that said, already looking at some uh, wave heights We've seen them throughout the day. They've been close to 20 feet or a little bit above. Laura will take a direct path toward the upper Texas coast. It becomes a category two storm late tonight. Winds late tonight will be at 100 miles an hour uh, at 110 miles an hour on Wednesday afternoon. And right now the official track takes it into the Port Arthur, the Sabine Pass area of Texas. This is the farthest that northernmost, if you will, part of the Texas coast, the upper Texas coast. Category three winds of 115. I'm not going to be surprised at all if the path shifts just a little bit more to the west, a little closer to Galveston. Uh, a number of the models are indicating more of a westward shift, and uh, some of the models are also indicating that it could be a Category 4 storm, winds of 130 or stronger. So uh, big problems all along the upper Texas coast or parts of uh, the, the southwestern Louisiana coast. So this part of the Gulf Coast certainly needs to stay alert. It's then up around Shreveport and uh, just to the east, Shreveport, Tech, uh, Shreveport, Louisiana, Marshall, Texas, Thursday afternoon around 1 o'clock, and then it'll continue up toward Texarkana, Poplar Bluff, Missouri, and then it'll move even over toward the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., as we head through Saturday afternoon. So what does all of that mean? Uh, when it makes landfall, we're looking at winds of 110 plus right along coastal, the upper Texas coast and also uh, coastal Louisiana. Rainfall anywhere from two to 15 inches of rain. Some spots could see a bit higher than that and a storm surge anywhere from six to maybe 13 feet. So big problems along the Gulf Coast. Right now we do have hurricane warnings in effect. That extends from Galveston on over uh, to uh, parts of Louisiana. Tropical storm warnings are these areas here in red and we have hurricane watches and a tropical storm watches that extend as far north as Tyler, Texas. So one of the models that we watch here very closely, uh, I'm looking, it's kind of a combination of the European and one of our in-house models, but it too brings it uh, right around Port Arthur. Here's Galveston. So between Port Arthur and Galveston, that is late, late tomorrow night, Wednesday night, two o'clock in the morning, technically on Thursday. Then it'll move up toward Longview, Texas. Tyler, Texas. This is Thursday afternoon. There's Shreveport, Louisiana, and then it continues into uh, northeast Texas. The Dallas Fort Worth area, a little bit of rain's possible uh, Wednesday afternoon, not from Laura, but certainly on Thursday, some rain is a possibility from Laura. So once again, we'll continue to keep a watch on Hurricane Laura. It looks like it will be a category three, possibly a category four at landfall late, late Wednesday night. Make sure you keep it right here on the WFAA YouTube channel. We'll continue to keep you updated.